Yeah, I'm going to go through how to put together the updated knee badge portable holder. Need tweezers, some big cutters, and then the parts that come in the kit. So well, you'll get a different type of attachment depending on what type of kit you bought. First thing is put face side down through so the back is showing and take your cutters, your big cutters, and just cut those bars off. Make sure you have big cutters that can handle the large diameter. Smaller cutters will not work for this. They will break. Then put that on the side. That's what you need your big cutters for. That should be the only cutting that you need to do for this. So we want to sit. Get your iron. Use my little pencil with its default tip. It's heating up. First thing that you always do with an iron to tend its tip. Get nice and good. Okay. So there's three big parts that will be putting on here. You have the resistor. Well, first, I like to tag one pad each of these and then one pad on that I, small IC. So depending on the values of your resistor and your capacitor, it depends on how fast this will blink. This one here is a test. This one's gonna be a really slow blink. With the kit I'm providing you is about a one second flash, which is pretty nice. So you just want to get the resistor. The resistor is an 0603 size resistor. And it just goes on the bottom there. Next is the capacitor, which is an 0805. to make sure there are different sizes so you don't accidentally put one in place of the other. Just position it on attach it. Like so. Okay. The hard one is this little tiny Schmidt diode. Very small package. It's not hard to open. Make sure you don't lose the part. It is small. And the three pins will go on the left and the two pins on the right. So you just want to set it up like that. Get on. And then can position it with that. One pad that you already put solder on. That should look pretty good. I am a little too far on the left there, so I want to heat it. Try 
Yeah, position it. A little bit better. Yeah. And then go through and tag on the other You might want to just make sure that first one got enough solder. This is where you might want flux or hot air to make this a little bit easier. Well, that should be good. Those are the three parts you need to assemble. Now it's good to take a mini badge Probably one with a clock. Or like the hack in the box one from 2022. Hmm. I just want to put them all on. And get them on like that. Now you can solder. All those pads on. So right now I'm using a water soluble solder, so I'll have to clean my joint, clean this off when I'm done. Yeah, I need to sit. In this solder, all these pins on. Once they're soldered, I'll show it nice and good. Okay, right. well, then you don't really have to solder this on to test. I recommend that you test with the battery I provide you. Plop it in. And make sure that the circuit will work. This is with a really high resistor volume. So it's gonna be about eight seconds, as you can tell. It switches at eight seconds. It looks like it's working. So now you can take out the mini badge. And solder on after you clean it. You just put those in, like so, and just solder it. So it'll look something like this. This one is a little bit faster. This is about half a second or so. Switching time is eight seconds. The resistor I'm providing you will be about one second. If you want to change that, you can change the capacitor or the resistor value by a quantity of 10 or 5, and it will adjust how fast it will bleed. So I will go get this cleaned up and solder this last bit, but all that you have to do now is solder on the header, and just be careful when you solder on this bottom one, the battery, as you don't want to melt your headers as you do that. That's it. Thanks.